Hi all, welcome to my next video lecture on the topic High Performance Liquid Chromatography It's an abbreviation Its abbreviation is HPLC Some students written that HPLC is High Pressure Liquid Chromatography That uh, P does not uh, which P, P means uh, performance HPLC means High Performance Liquid Chromatography In this technique, I wish to discuss the basic principle behind this uh, HPLC and the basic uh, the instrumentation and the working principle and application of the HPLC. Okay, let us go through that. From this term, it is clear that this is liquid chromatography. So we can see that here the mobile phase is liquid. And this is a uh, and so stationary phase. There are two possibilities: only solid and liquid. Both can be used here. And we can see that this is a chromatography technique. So what is the first point? It is used for separation purification, identification of organic compounds with the known volatile in nature. That is the important point. If it is in one volatile in nature, we are using gas chromatography because we can easily convert it into gas and the carrier gas will be taken into the column. But here this is non-volatile in nature, so we cannot be transformed into the least liquid form. So we are using that components having do not having any ability to non volatile or not ability to transform to the liquid gaseous state. We are using this technique. So this HPLC is mainly used for non volatile in nature components separation. Next is principle differential distribution of components between stationary phase and mobile phase is mainly due to the difference in adsorption and partition coefficient. Let us discuss in the next slide. If there are two possibilities, stationary phase may be solid or if the stationary phase may be liquid. If stationary phase is liquid solid, then the components are separated according to adsorption coefficient. Stationary phase is solid, the components will be separated according to adsorption coefficient. If stationary phase is liquid, what is the separation will be based on? Hmm. Separation will be based on the partition difference in partition coefficient. That is the second point. Let us discuss the instrumentation. This is a simple picture. This is the sample solvent reservoir. This is the pump. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is the pump and this is a um, guard column sample injection system or with this abbreviation I guess SIS this is column analytical column and this is detector and this is recorder you can easily be explained using this is a, let's discuss the working principle first of all the solvent reservoir consisting of consisting of solvent and using a pump we are pump or we are taking the solvent reservoir because a liquid in over the flow because we require a flow regular flow and um, a particular pressure Pressure lum nalle force lum nam kendi yenam. I parayenna I parayenna liquid in a pump yenam. That is be done by using a pump. Then what even by guard column? Guard column is the column uh, which uh, guard the column. The solvent in the parayin, it's a liquid form, maybe it's consisting of some impurities. Uh, impurities is a to It will break by the carnum e malla fozilani parayin the components were liquid diet tiny particle solid in the gentum HPL seed up between. If the analytical column breaks, then we cannot be use that instrument. We cannot work that instrument. So the important we should purify or we you should filter the components or the solvent. That is being done by using the analytical column. And next one is when this uh, the components is passing through this um, analytical uh, column, then it will move to the um, detector, detector detects, and it gives the record. Okay, let us discuss. Then there's um, let us discuss in detail. The liquid mobile phase is pumped at a required pressure that is 5000 psi at flow rate 1 to 10 ml per minute to the instrument using a microprocessor pump so what is the function it will take up the solvent and pump having using our requirement what is the requirement 5000 psi pressure and 1 to 10 ml per minute flow rate 
then God column, uh, then it is passed through God column. God column will filter, that is, we explain here. God column is kept before the analytical column. It helps to remove impurities present in the solvent and thereby increase the lifetime of analytical column. Then SIS or sample injection system. Sample injection system is introduced in the sample system using a micro syringe. Then analytical column. Then column is packed with a particle in a range 3 to 10 gram. Column is usually made up of stainless tube of length about 30 centimeter and diameter 1 centimeter. Did you see that? 1 centimeter thickness oil shape rulla, egadisum or 30 centimeter length rulla, or coil ana, a lingual or tube ana number column in the bar. It is filled with the solid, packed with the particles, maybe solid or liquid supported solids are okay, packed in them. There are two types of columns are generally used. One is normal faced silica, which is silica is bonded with the OH group and reverse phase silica or silica bonded with the OCH3 group. Normal phase silica is used to separate polar components while reverse phase silica is used to separate non-polar components. If we are need to require the separate, if we need to require uh, separate the polar components, um, then we are using normal phase silica. If you require for the separation of non-polar components, then we are using norm reverse phase silica. That's it. Then detectors are two types: bulk property detector which means response to the like um, refractive index, dielectric constant, density. The entire component in the property that is bulk property. Solute property detector responds the solute property like UV absorbance, fluorescence, Bulk property in the same the component in the entire solution the uh, refractive index, dielectric constant, density. Solute in the mathram property because one component is random components or solution mix of random components and A and B and random name UV absorbance with the because due to the existence of chromophores and oxochromes. Otherwise, the fluorescence ability with the azonda. One component in the property and we are using the solute property detector, otherwise, we are using what? Um, bulk property detector. The components that emerge out the column are detected and recorded. That's about that. Next, it explains the uh, discuss the um, application for the use for the separation, purification, identification of non volatile organic solid used to measure purity of compounds, used for the separation of polypeptides. More amount of compounds can be separated using GC, that is one of the um, uh, what is the advantages of that. Once again, let us discuss the. Um, instrumentation first of all this is a solvent reservoir which is consisting of solvent which is pumped using a micro pump processor pump and it is con uh, linked that before the uh, sample injection system there is a guard column guard column filter the solvents and pass the pure solvent to the uh, SIS and say ESIS which is in the solvent and the components or the mixer get mixed together and that mixer is converted into or given into the SAM analytical column analytical column consisting which is mainly a long tube having almost 30 centimeter length or 1 centimeter thickness 1 centimeter thickness then the bonus the separation will be happen due to the difference in uh, partition coefficient or um, adsorption coefficient and uh, this it, uh, these uh, columns are of two types which are they yes uh, the column packed may be normal phase silica if normal phase silica is used for the separation of polar components which is the uh, OH group is present and uh, reverse phase silica is OCS3 which is also for non-polar components and the component separated is used to detected by the detector detectors of two types which are the bulk property detector and the component solute property detector so bulk property detector detect the bulk properties like a refractive index dielectric constant density etc solute property detector detect the um, solute property of each components the like uh, uv absorbance fluorescence etc and the recorder give the output that's about the today's presentation thank you have a nice